these days, CBD is everywhere. Candy, bath bombs, even dog treats. You can buy it at cafes, restaurants, and now... Thanks for coming. At Girls Night Out. It's my replace your night cream. A sales strategy now getting a makeover from companies like Healthy Honeys. So it'll be 45. Perfect. In the tradition of the iconic Avon lady who would sell you makeup. Avon calling. These new saleswomen are cashing in on cannabidiol or CBD, the extract of hemp or cannabis plants with little to no THC, so you won't get high. So you'll get CBD testing in the 90 to 99% purity, and we call it the bunny jar. Healthy Honey sells CBD products directly to customers, in person and online, and recruits other women to do the same. Here for your headache. The Honeys, as they're known, sell oils. And you're going to put it directly into your top. Lotions. Yeah, it so feels good. Even coffee beans, all with CBD extracted from hemp. I've been somebody who's really looking for alternative health care. I'm really, really thankful that she can take the time and explain it. How many people in this room know what the endocannabinoid system does? Shannon Donnelly says she founded the company because of her own success using CBD. I specifically use CBD for anxiety and depression. I can take it every single morning, let it absorb into my system, and all I think is, I got this. Donnelly can talk about what CBD does for her, but she can't make medical claims. Anecdotally, CBD is touted as a treatment for a wide range of conditions, from depression to inflammation, even cancer. But there has been little research on those claims. Experts caution there could be possible drug interactions. And in a statement, the FDA says, we continue to be concerned at the number of drug claims being made about products not approved by the FDA that claim to contain CBD. The studies just haven't been done yet to prove whether or not these agents work well and are safe long term. But as more states reevaluate their marijuana laws, more companies have pushed the boundaries of the CBD market. In 2018 alone, sales for CBD products exceeded $390 million and could reach $22 billion by 2022. Research shows women are almost twice as likely to use CBD to treat medical conditions. And one industry survey says female baby boomers are the most likely users of CBD. I can make 500 or more in sales at a party in just one night. Mom Allison Papish sells CBD for a living and says it was a miracle for her fibromyalgia and bladder disease. When you take them, let's say the tinctures, what do you feel? I feel an instant sense of relief. She says hosting CBD parties lets her spend more time at home with her 18-month-old daughter Sylvie and creates a sisterhood. Our grandmothers had these parties and it really gave them a sense of community and friendship with other women. These parties are definitely the new age makeup or Tupperware parties. I mean, it really is everywhere, but I think a lot of folks are wondering, is it legal? Right. It's a good question. And that's actually the complicated part. Many forms of CBD oil are now legal across the country. It really depends on which plant it comes from and how much THC it contains. So just know your state laws and what's in the product that you're buying. I thought that so THC is what makes you high. That's like marijuana or pot or something. But CBD things I thought didn't have yeah. that. Right. And sometimes if it comes from the marijuana plant, they can take it out. If uh, it comes from the hemp plant, it doesn't have it. So it really is this complicated sort of thing in the way it's made. I had, I had brunch in Soho at the spot. I was texting a friend. I was like, you have to come here. This brunch is incredible. And they go, I know that spot. Did you get the CBD lemonade? It's amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's, it, it is it's it's wildly popular. Wow. Is that when you said, no, I got the Bloody Mary? Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. Thank you, Kristen. You